Am I the a-hole for having my daughter first birthday the same day as my stepsister's wedding? My mom got remarried after my parents' divorce and her new husband brought along my stepsister. I lived with my dad mostly because I did not want anything to do with a new sibling and had pretty much no relationship with her and hated that my mom treated her like a daughter. I wasn't the nicest to her but I felt like she was taking my place. Fast forward to now she is getting married I wasn't invited since we have no relationship whatever I didn't invite her to mine either. This issue is I planned my daughter's first birthday and when I told my mom she said it can't be that day because it's my stepsister's wedding and can we change it to the next weekend so people don't have to choose which to go to. I said no my stepsister's wedding is at 8 pm my daughter's party is at 1 pm people can do both but almost everyone on my mom's sides arsed no to her birthday party because of the wedding and travel. Even my own mother said she can't make it because she will be at stepsister's wedding and getting ready all day. I'm pissed how can she choose a stepdaughter over her own grandchild. Everyone is picking this girl who isn't even really family over my daughter. My mom says to just change the party but I think it's ridiculous they can't do both and won't change my schedule for my stepsister. And my daughter will be the one I suffer when one of her family is at her first birthday party. The top comment is. Yes, you are the a-hole because you said in a comment you knew it was her wedding day before you planned the party and it's not your daughter's actual birthday. You're causing your daughter to miss out because you can't grow TF up and realize you are not in competition with your stepsister. You are no one to her and she is not out there trying to win whatever it is you think it is you're competing for. You're a parent now, start acting like one. Am I the a-hole for telling my niece my husband and I are not going to her birthday because my husband isn't welcome? I have been with my husband for 10 years. We have been married for 5 of those years. He has suffered horrific trauma at the hands of his dad. His parents were married and expecting twins when his mom suffered some kind of hemorrhage and she ended up with eclampsia. My husband's mom and twin sister did not make it. But my husband did after a period of time in the NICU. His dad told him it was his fault they died. He had grandparents who meant the world to him and tried to shield him from his dad's anger, but when he was 8 years old they died also. His father then blamed him. He spent the next 10 years hearing day after day that he was the reason. At no point did he have another person to reassure him it wasn't. When we met he had just started to heal. He was away from his dad and attending therapy. It was a very big fear of his that what his dad said was true. He is a wonderful man and my nieces and nephews adore him. He was always so good with them and the rest of my family. In January 2020 I was pregnant and we went for a scan where we learned I had miscarried. As soon as my husband heard this, something inside of him broke. He started to unravel. He was in the middle of a mental health crisis. He was doing this weird manic laugh that was also a sob. He ran out of the room and I followed after him, concerned. My mom and sister both work at the hospital, sister's a nurse while mom worked in a little gift store. Both saw him in this worst moment. They saw his medical personnel were forced to intervene because he was in the middle of a breakdown, hysterical and totally out of it. He was totally broken and nothing could reach him. It was the scariest moment of my life. The worst moment of his. And they judged him for laughing. Then when they told the rest of the adults in my family, they also judged him. All of my family were aware of his history. He told them about it years ago. My husband ended up under the care of a psychiatrist who suggested he needed a lot more help than therapy could provide. Instead of understanding my family no longer wanted him around. They said a man who could laugh at his own wife's miscarriage was not the kind of man they wanted around the kids. I told them I would not leave him behind. My niece is turning 12 this year and is having her first big party since COVID. She called and said she wanted us there but she hadn't seen us on her mom's list. I told her we wouldn't be able to come and that I was sorry, we both were. She was upset and asked why she never saw us. Why we wouldn't come to her birthday party. Why we miss them all now. I told her that my husband was not welcome by the other adults in the family anymore. She apparently yelled at her parents and mine. Then I got shit from them for telling her what I did. They said I had no business saying that. Am I the a-hole? The top comment is. Not the a-hole. I respect you for standing with your husband. That was the right move. If they won't welcome both of you, then neither of you attend. As far as telling your niece the truth, I agree with that too. You have nothing to hide. There was nothing inappropriate about revealing this to her. And it sounds like you kept the explanation short. Am I the a-hole for walking out of my husband's birthday party after he started laughing at me? IF32 just completed my treatment for a medical issue that affected my body. I had gained weight due to this medical condition and also medication and none of my old clothes were fitting anymore. I bought new fitting clothes but for my husband's birthday party, he asked me to wear one of my old dresses that was one of his favorites. 
To appease him I said yes although I didn't feel comfortable wearing it especially after the weight gain. He was at the restaurant with his family and friends when I arrived with my sister. As soon as he saw me walking in, he busted out laughing, he pointed at the dress and was going hysterical saying oh my god I felt so incredibly mad. Especially when the others started laughing as well. One of his friends started whistling in a mocking tone. I turned around instantly and walked out and my sister followed me. I went home and cried a little but he kept calling non-stop. He came home and started talking about how oversensitive I was and that it was just a natural reaction he had upon seeing me in this dress again after all this time. He said I overreacted and made a scene over nothing. He also said I ruined his birthday and urged me to get therapy for this oversensitivity that I'm inflicting upon him. Am I the a-hole? Did I overreact? He's so upset he refused to even receive the gift. Edit. I need to explain the way he laughed more. He first started giggling and tried to cover his mouth then, in a matter of seconds he bursted out laughing. In the middle of the restaurant. The guests were confused then they must have understood why he was laughing because they joined in and his friend whistled at me mockingly while repeatedly turning his head like something caught his attention. Could it be the I overreacted? It could be just me getting overwhelmed because joking and laughing is not new when it comes to him. He's the kind to tease about any and everything even with family. The kids also. He also said he was caught off guard and so I shouldn't blame him for his reaction. The top comment is. Not the a-hole and my jaw dropped. I legitimately cannot imagine my husband even thinking of doing that. I can't imagine my 12-year-old thinking that's appropriate behavior. Is this an isolated incident, or is this how he behaves? What is the point of being married to someone who thinks publicly humiliating you is a totally cool and normal thing to do? This whole incident just feels like a tip of the iceberg thing he'd have to be so selfish, cruel, and childish to do this. And then to attack you for it? A-A-A-H. Are there any upsides to being with this guy? Edited to add, maybe you should go to therapy to do some deep thinking on how you deserve a partner who loves and respects you. Am I the a-hole for telling my roommate her friends can't use my things or sit on my couch? I have a roommate we are both f23 we have been living together for a few months. I had another roommate before her but she left when the lease was up so I have been in the apt for a year longer than her. It's a one bedroom apt and since I was there first I have the bedroom and she is in the living room with a privacy screen separating the living room and her bedroom. When she first moved in I had all the living room furniture already so she didn't have to bring any. Just kitchen stuff and her personal stuff. Living with her has been okay she has friends over some weekends and they are not the kind of people I would associate with. They haven't done anything but they give off a certain vibe to other people that I don't want to be associated with and honestly I just find them gross and don't trust them. They usually come over for an hour then they go out so I haven't had to put up with them much. Last weekend she told me she was having the same friends over but they were gonna spend the night in and hang out and order in some food and asked me if I wanted to join. I was mad because fine if they are going to come over to hang out before going out but to have to deal with these gross people for a whole night was not something I wanted to deal with in my own home. I don't want them using my things. I told her she was free to have her friends over but they couldn't use any of my stuff including couch, TV, kitchen table anything that I bought. We got in an argument about it and she ended up leaving and going out with her friends anyway. She came home yesterday afternoon and now everything has been awkward and she hasn't said a word to me. But it's my stuff and I'm being nice enough to let her have these people over I don't think I need to let them use my things too. Maybe if she is mad she should get better friends. The top comment is. Yes, you are the a-hole. This girl doesn't even have an effing bedroom, but I'm guessing you make her pay for everything split down the middle. If you have such a problem with your things being used in a common space, then don't put them in a common space. Either put your things in your own room, or swap bedrooms so this poor girl can allow a friend to sit while she waits for this lease to be up, and then runs away from you as fast as she can. Holy hashtag percent dollar. ETA, thank you for the upvotes and awards. I've never had an award or this many upvotes before, so I'm not sure what proper etiquette is, but I see people thanking in edits, so thank you. Am I the a-hole for walking out of my husband's birthday party after he started laughing at me? IF32 just completed my treatment for a medical issue that affected my body. I had gained weight due to this medical condition and also medication and none of my old clothes were fitting anymore. I bought new fitting clothes but for my husband's birthday party, he asked me to wear one of my old dresses that was one of his favorites. To appease him I said yes although I didn't feel comfortable wearing it especially after the weight gain. He was at the restaurant with his family and friends when I arrived with my sister. As soon as he saw me walking in, he busted out laughing, he pointed at the dress and was going hysterical saying oh my god I felt so incredibly mad. Especially when the others started laughing as well. One of his friends started whistling in a mocking tone. 
I turned around instantly and walked out and my sister followed me. I went home and cried a little but he kept calling non-stop. He came home and started talking about how oversensitive I was and that it was just a natural reaction he had upon seeing me in this dress again after all this time. He said I overreacted and made a scene over nothing. He also said I ruined his birthday and urged me to get therapy for this oversensitivity that I'm inflicting upon him. Am I the a-hole? Did I overreact? He's so upset he refused to even receive the gift. Edit. I need to explain the way he laughed more. He first started giggling and tried to cover his mouth then, in a matter of seconds he bursted out laughing. In the middle of the restaurant. The guests were confused then they must have understood why he was laughing because they joined in and his friend whistled at me mockingly while repeatedly turning his head like something caught his attention. Could it be the I overreacted? It could be just me getting overwhelmed because joking and laughing is not new when it comes to him. He's the kind to tease about any and everything even with family. The kids also. He also said he was caught off guard and so I shouldn't blame him for his reaction. The top comment is. Not the a-hole and my jaw dropped. I legitimately cannot imagine my husband even thinking of doing that. I can't imagine my 12-year-old thinking that's appropriate behavior. Is this an isolated incident, or is this how he behaves? What is the point of being married to someone who thinks publicly humiliating you is a totally cool and normal thing to do? This whole incident just feels like a tip of the iceberg thing he'd have to be so selfish, cruel, and childish to do this. And then to attack you for it? A-A-A-A-H. Are there any upsides to being with this guy? Edited to add, maybe you should go to therapy to do some deep thinking on how you deserve a partner who loves and respects you. Am I the a-hole for keeping the house children and teenagers until the police arrive and charge them? I, am, have a house with a pool that I rent on weekends or throw parties. The kitchen and swimming pool are on outside. Friday, I went to the market to buy drinks, meats and various things, because Sunday there would be a party in this house. So the fridge had a lot of things. On Saturday, my brother called me asking if I had rented the house this Saturday for someone and when I said no, he informed me that he passed by and heard very loud music in it in addition to several voices. I asked him to meet me there and I went with my husband. There were about 20 people enjoying the pool, drinking and having a barbecue with my stuff. Apparently they used a ladder to jump over the wall. The wall had a broken fence and will be replaced tomorrow. It's the only wall that faces the street. When they saw us, they started to get even more desperate that my brother had the ladder. They tried to escape but we kind of protected the wall. The police had already been called, so we didn't want anyone to escape. Nothing happened to anyone to make it clear, they just tried to get past us to go to the lowest wall, but couldn't. The police arrived. There were seven children, 6 to 13 years old, 12 adolescents, 14 to 17 years old, and one adult, 39 years old. Those responsible for the minors were called and this caused a mess, as they started to accuse a score holding minors in my house when I am not a police authority. The police gave me the freedom to press charges or not, but I said I just wanted the value of the items consumed, pay for a cleaning lady and cleaning the pool. Yes, it would cost a high value, because the outside area was a mess and almost everything used in the fridge. The adults began to say that just scolding from the police would be enough and that I know how stupid young people can be and begged me not to charge that amount, as most of them were extremely poor. I stood by my decision, saying that they would have until today, Monday, to pay for my damage, otherwise I would press charges against everyone. Yes, I heard a lot of curses, but today I received the full amount. My husband said that I was very harsh, because I paid out of my pocket anyway, there was the party anyway, and that for us, there would be no difference that money, but for extremely poor families? Yes. I really don't think it's fair to have this expense, despite being able to pay without weighing on my pocket. Young people are stupid, but still they broke into a house, used everything in it and left a mess. Am I the a-hole? The top comment is. Not the a-hole almost all of them knew what they were doing was wrong. They made a choice to break in, steal, and use your property without consent. If someone drowned or was hurt on the property, there may have been liability for you etc. You were kinder than a lot of others would have been. I recommend surveillance cameras.